The Obi and Anthony XM walkover begins now. There it is. Start walking, assholes. Oh, all right, Anthony. <laughs> oh, God, I hate this stupid thing. This you is- could always tell when it's going to be freezing cold because we'll be doing the broadcasted walkover. Yeah, this is brilliant on our part. We had, what, six, seven, eight months to do this, and then we decided to bring the walk uh, walkover back as it gets cold. And it hasn't really been bad um, the past few days of walking over, not like really cold. But today, again, we're doing the stupid walkover. It's really cold. I'm fucking freezing. Did Jimmy even realize that there was a walkover going on? What did he do? He just bolted? He's out. Good good man. If I know Jimmy, though, I think he's obsessing about his tickets, and he's in front of a computer. Uh, so far, 100. Uh, how many? How many? 130. 140. He's just going to sit there. How many have I sold? How many have I sold? <laughs> I'm, I'm a meaty-breasted nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, still the hustle and bustle going on. Yeah. Uh... This city's amazing during this time of year. What is he saying? Uh huh. What is he doing? Oh, is that crazy guy? guy? Oh my God! Why do we have to deal with you today? All right, it's okay, Kenny. Why, why, why? Let's talk. How come they were still alive to jump out of the buildings if they, uh, the fires were hot enough in that building to melt the steel? What? They jumped out because it was hot. Why, if why it was hot enough to melt the steel, how come they were still alive to be able to jump? Dude, that, they jumped, and then the building fell hours later, or an hour or so later. So it was well, hot were, enough to, for them to jump, and then as the fire hey, the kept burning... the official story said that it was thousands of degrees. Yeah. Yeah, those if people... They were thousands were, of, dude, those people that were on the thousands of degrees floors were dead instantly. The other people that were above it, as the fire kept burning, they got trapped and had to jump. It, 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 that makes perfect sense. Well, the sense. official story said that the fires were very intense. They were. That's what melted the, the, the steel or softened the steel enough to make the building Look, fall. Look, the way those buildings were built, they yeah. were built like a web. Uh, steel is a good conductor. What? Of what? You need to heat up the whole. You need to heat up the whole structure no, no. before there's even any type it of. Was, it was really proven by engineers that just enough heat to soften the metal was enough to make it the floors buckle and the support system for that building was such that the floors actually is, is supported that, is this why uh steven uh steven jones a physicist yeah. found thermates when he was able to get a sample of the steel are you saying that the building was demolished hey uh, there's uh i well, mean there's, there's, enough, there's enough questions to warrant a new investigation a new independent what investigation. questions like, was it demolished? Do you think that it was a, a controlled detonation that brought the buildings down? Of course. So you say that for weeks in advance, people were planting explosives and while people were well, working I mean, in the trade was, uh, There were many witness testimonies that said yeah. that they were, um, they were sh- they were on the weekends, they would shut down the power of the whole building. Yeah, but do you know I what mean, it, uh, let, look, let, let me explain I know, to you. I know you say, I know you, you know said what it on takes? the... Okay. Do you know what it takes to wire a, a regular sized building for detonation? It takes months, and they have to strip the building. They have to drill holes in the concrete okay. and plant explosives, wire them all There's the way it. back to a detonator. How is that going to be done in a building that is carrying on business? As you might know, as you remember, Can that I whole... The I am answering the question. All right. <laughs> uh, the building was not filled to capacity. It doesn't Many matter. people that came in on Monday found dust on their computers that they had to clean up. Like there was con- <laughs> that there was construction going on. Because there was probably construction going on. Like I, I used to work in buildings like Why that. Why would on, I mean, a, on what, a nightly what, basis you'd go and change around air conditioning registers and dust would fall on desks. It, it's a, a big difference. A little dust on the desk and taking jackhammers, drilling holes in concrete and steel and there planting what well, would amount to, that, to, uh, to say thousands that well. of pounds of explosives to bring down a building of that size. This, <laughs> when they well, why, why, they well, how come, how come the, the firefighter's they... testimony uh, on the 9-11 commission report was not even added to the 9-11 commission report stating that there were explosions going on? There probably was. There was flammable equipment in there. There was a uh, well, uh, well, mechanical explain, explain unit. John Schroeder. And other you can things look it up that, on YouTube. John Schroeder. That yeah. went, when concrete slabs are falling on top of... Right now saying that he covered oh. it up. Really? What? Saying what, that, what did saying Giuliani cover up? Hundreds of witness testimonies saying there were explosives in the building. 
Are, are you guys, guys all together? I don't think that there were. Oh, we just give a shit, man. Yeah. I'm like you. Oh, oh, that's funny. You don't know the first thing about me, well, asshole. Why are you defending the popular mechanics? I didn't by say the... shit about this, asshole. The popular mechanicals article? I read that. Don't fuck with what? me. Trust me. Don't fuck with me. Why are you defending that article when I it was written by nephew of Homeland shit. Security, I asked man. you a question. Are what? you guys all together or you got someone just walking by? You don't know what They're I think together. about 9 11. I just want to hear what he says about the Popular Mechanics article. Go the ahead. Popular Mechanics article was written by Boo. Benji Chertoff, who's the nephew of the head of Homeland Security, Michael Chertoff. Uh huh. And they fired so, the entire staff so, of Popular Mechanics article a month before they printed that. But wouldn't it make sense that you would get a guy that kind of would be able to have access to some information like that? What was that? I'm sorry. Like that guy. You said he's, he's the nephew of. Uh, one of the gentlemen from Homeland, yeah, Homeland Security. Security the, the so wouldn't you think that, that wouldn't you it. think that somebody like that would have access to certain uh, uh, records and, and and information that would give him a more accurate uh, uh, interpretation of what happened? You're right. All his all his credentials say that you know he wrote high school football articles for you know the school paper. You know, so I, I would understand why they would make him the senior fact checker. Can I just ask you one article. easy question then? What's that? Isn't it easier? to say that a few fanatics got on planes and destroyed our buildings instead of this vast conspiracy involving thousands of people and and uh, uh, logistics that are n nearly impossible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so really, isn't it it's easier really easy to, to say that? That's why that's the, what's used to... No, it's not what's used. I'm not saying what's used. It's, it's just what it was. It, it, why can't it just be, can you accept, can you even accept for a second that maybe, now I want to even say indefinite, that maybe that's all it was, was some fanatics that blew up some of our buildings based on their hatred of our way of life. I did, I accepted it for a few years, man, but, uh, you know, after going into it and investigating things about it, it's clear what that did you there's things that are coming up. How did you investigate? There's Looking senders at that are coming out saying that, that, are, that were part of the 9-11 commission report saying there was a FARC. Bob Graham came out and said it was a FARC. These people have come out. Fark. I love Fark.com. Were the planes an illusion? Here, yeah. Listen. You know what? I want to believe the official story, but after reading parts of the 9-11 Commission report, not the whole I read the I read the 9-11 Commission it report. It made, it made sense. It didn't, it didn't make it sense. Made sense Why based was on Building 7 not mentioned in the 9-11 Building 7, report? the when whole Building 7 thing is ridiculous, sir. It, it, falls it, in, what was it, 7 it seconds, 8 seconds? The, the, Oh, like, oh, here it is, the gravity thing. I've read that, no, too. No, 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 it's not a gravity thing. It, I'm saying when it falls in eight seconds, it's not it's mentioned just, in the report. Like, suspicious. it's kind of strange. Like, I It mean, fell it because should... it was damaged by another building falling into the front of it. It, it, it was on fire you know, for a like, while. Why not investigate that? Like, why, why investigate? It's part of the whole picture. It, it fell down. There was two planes that fucking hit buildings. It, that's what happened. There, there wasn't this vast conspiracy. Right, man. Well, everyone that thinks this is crazy and you win. Well, okay. Uh, I'm glad you could. Another guy. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. One more. <clears throat> Look, you guys haven't obviously haven't done your research. I've done. Wait, 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 wait. Really? Not obviously. Books. I have done a lot of research. Good books. Uh, the New Pearl Harbor by David Gray Riffer, and I would David challenge Ray. you, David Ray Griffin. I would challenge you to read that, mm -hmm. and then come back on your show and say what you disagree with in that book. He lays it out piece by piece. It's not, and then just, you could, it's not just websites, it's not just a yeah, lot of... Yeah, but then you can read another book, and it'll give you a different point of view. I, I will not accept one of your little flyers. Um, have, fun with, have fun with that. Check out 9-11. Uh, believe me, I've looked at both sides very thoroughly, and the, the one that makes that's the most true. sense... Is the you easiest can't thing. You can here and say what you're saying you, if, if you that's read, true. You don't, you're being a gatekeeper. You don't think that there were fanatic what, Muslims what? that hate our way of life that tried to bring down the Trade Center back in 93. So why the hell, why don't you think that this is possible that they succeeded and... and possible that they beat a trillion dollar defense yes, system? Yes, they did. Some guys in a cave We were delusional thinking we were safe is That's what happened. That's the crazy conspiracy no, theory, No, it sir. just doesn't make you feel safe knowing that with all we have in place, they got us. hijackers yes. from Saudi Arabia yes. attacked us, yes. able to score four hits in the most defended yes. airspace in the world. Yes. So we invaded Iraq and Afghanistan. Thank you. Can I ask one question? Yes, uh, that's exactly can I, what happened. Well, can I ask you a question? Wow. Oh, dude, 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 dude. I, I, an honest question, not even to attack okay. you. But if they were going to go through all that trouble, why not just go through the parking garages and do it 
the way they tried to do it in 93. I mean, on, that was honestly, an inside job as hold well. on, dude, hold on. You keep <laughs> jumping up, but you, you're too. reacting emotionally. I'm okay. asking you, if you're going to go through all of this trouble and you want to bring the buildings down, why not just go through the parking garages where you have so few people to neutralize and so few? Hold on, dude, hold on. Think about it logically. You're talking about uh, security and faking voices or doing all this shit to, to, to hide passengers. Why not just, just put explosives in the garage and knock the buildings down that way? We're not claiming to know all the answers. I mean, that's why we need but to But I'm not even saying you should know that, but I'm this. saying no, that's we're not. when you're looking at the, the, the government, the same bungling government that, like, you know, if they were trying to do this to invade Afghanistan or Iraq, Jesus, couldn't they have come up with a better reason than leaving Colin Powell hanging with that awful uranium thing? I mean, look at how fast that story fell apart. If they had, if they were brilliant enough to pull off 9-11. Yeah, they're too incompetent to pull off 9-11. could they leave Colin Powell hanging with that shitty, awful... I mean, it was an embarrassment for the U.S. government. Look, invading Iraq wasn't the only reason that, that this was probably done. We could uh, have done that, by the way, without 9-11, because they had... Uh, they had been uh, fucking with the sanctions for years. So any time we wanted, we could have invaded Iraq. Exactly. It's a whole strategy of destabilizing the Middle East and... Well, we and didn't need to blow the buildings state up. state here, chipping away at our civil liberties in the United States. It's not just about one thing. Uh, the towers themselves were not profitable anymore. They were they were white elephants. Well, um, this that, is, that's another you know, but dude, great, um, when, when governments do things like this, it's 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 a whole you know. But there's basic there's a whole question. Range You're of giving them a lot more credit yeah, than they're due. Just, You're giving the United States government officials a lot more credit than they're due for pulling something off like this, my friend. A lot more. The but dude, the basic question of why I mean it's 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 a really simple question but you got to think about it it's like the intricacies you'd have to do to pull this off oh. as brilliantly as they did when they could have went to the amazing. parking garage. Have you heard of Operation Northwood? No, I don't. Any any of that stuff. A lot. I, I mean, I've heard there's a million little operations. You know, they're going to shoot a plane down over Cuba. Yeah, that's I've heard I, I, all that. Yes. But, and that was but, signed by the Joint Chiefs. So I mean, maybe it was, but that wasn't idea. a passenger airline being filmed. That was supposed to be done between the Cuba and Florida. Yeah. It's different. I'm not talking about. I know, but I mean, that's a bad example. Yeah, this they bring I'm that up. They example. bring up the Gulf of Tonkin. There's there's plenty of examples. Stick with this basic question of why not go, if they're going to plant things, why would you plant things on the 90th floor, the 78th floor, why wouldn't you just go into the, I mean, I keep saying the same thing, but if, if I'm thinking of this, and I'm not, I'm not a, they would have thought of it. Why would you go through having to fake with voice recorders people leaving messages who said they were Islamic terrorists on the plane? There were people who said that to their loved ones. Why would you, all of the things that could go wrong, all of the people that would have to be involved, when you could get X amount of people into a parking garage and cover that up. I mean, you could literally do that with 20 people. Now you're I mean, dealing with not? passengers on planes, family members. Like, it's a vast because, conspiracy because, that covers thousands answer. of people. They wanted to create a spectacle, something that was something that was huge that would be broadcast on TV. Those buildings, uh, a catalyzing event, a real, t a real time, you know, horror show. Okay. Something that something that could galvanize the people you're right into, the terrorists absolutely wanted to show that a huge event that was a spectacle yeah and i just want to find out who the terrorists are but dude it, hold on let me Islamic i don't want to interrupt extremists. you if, why, why if you that was that? true because, because, because the news media came on that day and no, said oh here's your you don't because, because we are thing? hated by proof. these people we are hated by these people because of our way of life. They have tried in the past. So that's your they have proof? succeeded that's your in the, evidence. They have succeeded in the past at at blowing up uh, military installations, military equipment, and civilian equipment, and terrorized uh, other nations around the world. We it was our turn. They had planned this. We fucked up as a nation uh, who should have seen it coming, and they got us. They got us. There's no and, government conspiracy Andy, I, I here. I challenge you, sir, to read some of these books that are out there. The, the, I, I, the I have real, read a book. Not the one you mentioned, but I have, I have done a lot like of research on it. Like Pearl Harbor, the ones that lay it out step by step, because you obviously haven't done the research. No, I have. I have. Don't, 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 even, don't just pawn no me. Sir, sir don't pawn me off as being ignorant, because I didn't read your, the books Andy, you're why, suggesting. why are you ridiculing have, people that I'm not are trying to do Did something? Did I ridicule you? you We're giving you a forum. We're giving you a forum. You ridiculed Coy Bro on your show. You said he had mommy confront. 
Yes, I said that. Yes, that kid I did. Was an yes. Ass. Mommy yes, I did well, say shame that. Shame on you guys. He's changed guys. his Dude, opinion he's... and facts. He's looked at hey, pictures don't, don't me, and man. changed them. He's changed the pictures. It said, oh, this has no plane equipment in it. And then when people have shown plane equipment, he changed his story. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about, about the but... Pentagon. Pictures <laughs> that show equipment that came from an airplane uh, where he says no plane crash. And then the picture shows the airplane equipment and then he, he changes yeah, his story. There's some pieces and engines in there and stuff. You know, whatever. But I've asked you basic dude, questions, too. Whatever. Dude, dude, I've asked you, I've asked you basic you guys, questions. Why do you guys ridicule? Ridicule? I've asked you basic questions about, about why would they do it that way, and you can't answer it. You can't answer it. subject. You laugh about it. You joke Post about it. Picture. You ridicule yeah. it. Dude, you, we're giving you a form. You I'm know, asking you yeah, very serious you basic question. Really Listen to yourself. yourself. You're being this the angry young man. This is what you're doing. You're being the angry young man. No one's yelling at you. I'm asking you real questions. A gatekeeper. gatekeeper? Dude, oh, that's childlike cool. rhetoric. I'm I asking you real gatekeeper. questions. <laughs> you're not you're not taking this seriously. Oh, see, you're stop. Not doing the research. Stop, you stop with the angry young man routine. That's the rebellion and, against and mommy that I'm talking about. I didn't read, your, I didn't read the, the book you suggested. You've read that's the rebellion against you mommy that I'm man. talking about. Take your damn sunglasses I'll look you right in your little bearded, angry face. Oh, don't be such an angry young man. You're losing the argument, son. Son, you're losing the argument and you don't like it. We're not yelling at you. Not for this. For what? You Not guys for got this. the microphones and everything. So do you. A mic. So do you, sweetie. No you've, one's yelling at you. You've been able to say whatever you've wanted. We've given you probably more Look time than a lot okay. of people give you. Look at the you angry young man routine. It, but I would to, just challenge stop. you to do some more research. You're no okay? more concerned than we are. You're no more devastated than we are. You're no more affected than we are. And you're no more informed. But you're coming off like this angry young I'm no man. no more informed? Yes. How do you no. know how informed I am? Exactly. I can see That's by your face. How do you know how informed I am? I can I see am. by your face that when I ask you a basic question, like why wouldn't they go through the garage? And again, I know you don't have the answer for that, but, no. that's a, but I see your angry young man face and you're just trying to prove your point from an emotional point of view instead of logically looking at it. I'm, I, you think I didn't look at that stuff? Of course it bothered me. Why wouldn't the U.S. government release that extra Pentagon footage? Because they do a lot of shady shit. That was a terrible move. I'm not saying that there's been no questions, but like, what, if the buildings were hot enough to live, why were they still? Uh, why were they jumping if the buildings weren't were too hot? Is is a question you can ask in theory, but I can't ask you a question. Why wouldn't they go through the fucking garages? And you want to talk about it? And I, hold on. Okay. You you want to talk about a spectacle? How about two buildings falling with 25,000 people in each? That's a bigger spectacle. Okay, they would have killed a lot more people had they gone through the garage and collapsed the buildings onto other buildings. That would have been a bigger spectacle to kind of counter what you said about an answer as to why did they go through or the garage. Or if they'd have set off the detonations uh, when people were in there at noon or uh, or such and, and done it that way, they could have killed a hell of a lot more people. I mean, to answer your question, there was an explosion in the basement before the first plane hit. This was uh, reported by a uh, man that was uh, working in the building for 20 years. He thought a transformer exploded. People coming out, out of the basement with movie. skin hanging off their fingertips. I can only tell you that this is the first time I've heard that. I'm not saying you're lying. It's, in, I the can tell it's, in, it's in loose chain. Wherever it is. Huh? Loose I'm telling you loose is, chain, a, is a very slanted piece, yeah, dude. Right. It, it's, it's very slanted. It's very biased. It's not just, I mean, everywhere. look, it, it is very everywhere. very biased. Um, there's also a, a, a film I gave you on the DVD right there, Mr. Norton, uh, Terror Storm. It goes into the whole history of government-sponsored terrorism. See, and I'm not even saying that government sponsored Admit it. Admit it. You can find this on the CIA.gov website. See, when I listen to and I hear like, a guy, like, like, when I hear you talking, I'm listening to where you're coming from. It's like you're legitimate. Like, you're almost saying that, like, uh, uh, that it's an impossibility that terrorists would hit the U.S. or that or that it could happen that way. Like, you're all like, legitimizing their rage and, like their anger and saying, well, they have reasons to be, like, well, they, instead of just realizing that, yeah, maybe we are considered an enemy and they did catch us with our pants down. Do you Why think is that the so hard to coal swallow? was an inside job? Yeah, or how about Tanzania coal, and Kenya? The embassies? Well, the, I mean, the, the, thing, the you, thing is, uh, the U.S. funded Al-Qaeda. We trained Al Qaeda. Yeah, we know that. Yes, and we also we're, yeah we funded I mean, Bin Laden, of yeah, course. Yeah. But they were trying to kick the Un Russians out of Afghanistan. Yes, we did. They were of uh, an enemy so, of our enemy at the time. We, so yeah, we funded Saddam. We were friends with Saddam yeah, because he hated them Iran. Against Iran. Yes. I mean, we, we are guilty, like everyone else in the world, of being selective which sides we choose at times. Every country does that. I'm not saying it's right. We're not yes, whitewashing we have done that. the American government here. Believe we, me, they've, all been, done they've that. really I mean, done some awful look, things. Whenever, we, whenever we need to invade a a country, oh. Here, here's a here's a 
a thing that happens. The, the Russians so convenient. The Russians fought 36. us in Vietnam. We fought the Russians in Afghanistan. Well, of course. We have selective friends. I'm not saying we don't. No one's denying that. But that doesn't explain how they pulled off this. If this was an explosion that brought down a building, I Look, might say. But it's also been reported in, in mainstream media that the that uh, the supposed terrorists were trained in spy schools in America. Okay, they, but reported no, they went, where, dude? They, I don't know anything yeah, about they, that. They went to aviation school here because we were stupid and didn't do background checks on on people. Okay, so uh, then the how FBI do you actually was Hunjur. on to these guys, but they didn't have the community communication set up between the CIA and the FBI, they slipped through the cracks. We fucked up as a nation. Our security wasn't as good as we all hoped and thought it was going to be. We thought that if a plane flew over the White House, that missiles would shoot out of the White House and shoot it down. And then we found out, much to our chagrin, that just wasn't the case. We okay, were so vulnerable. It, 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 I mean, thing is, if we didn't have a foreknowledge of uh, even, even having a thought of planes hitting buildings. How come when Bush was in the G8 summit in Canada, oh no, uh, forgive me, Geneva, they had surface to air missiles at, and they shut down the airports. They've been, be, they've been putting Patriot missiles be, a year before everywhere, 9 though. Everywhere where there are a lot of government officials like uh, at, at those uh, uh, meetings. G yeah, yeah they, they, they put Patriots around to protect the fucking but they people shut, from... But they shut down the airport. That's never been done. And planes mm -hmm. being hitting into, pl into buildings is never... It's not a new concept. I think when the Trade Center was built, they built it to withstand a 707. Right. So, I mean, it, of course, that's Which always been a concept. Which is not much bigger as a uh, 760... Well, yeah. Yeah, it, it, look, it it's not much bigger. I mean, even uh, oh goodness, I've got the engine. But hold on, I'm looking at him like, why? Why are you looking like we're having a like? I just look at you, you're like, <sighs> you, like you want to come off with this angry thing, but we're coming at you logically. No one is screaming at you or shouting you down. So I'm curious as to why you're coming from where you're coming from. We're giving you a pretty fair forum, I think, in discussing this with you. Well. But, not, not, to, not to be disrespectful, but I'm asking. I'm curious. Uh, okay, well, be, I'm, I'm frustrated because you guys, have, you guys haven't done research. You, you, you're parroting, you're parroting the mainstream media and the, and the official story, and I, you know, I, I'm just trying to trying to figure out how to how to how to get in, and and uh, and make and it, some sense to you guys because it didn't bother you, you when I asked you, you about that. that why didn't they go to the garage? I'm well, not parroting anything, uh, dude. You're not the only one that has watched the news or that has read things online or that has investigated. You're not the only one that cares about this. You're not the only one that's... What do you think? Like, you're this brilliant guy who sees it and we're all these sheep. It's silly. That's pompous. And it's not realistic. Mm. It's not realistic to think that you're this enlightened genius and we're all just dummies who bought what Uncle Sam told us. Sometimes we the care simplest, as much about it as you the do. The simplest explanation is just what happened. Sometimes. Sometimes. But why are you all assuming... The time? What this is what happened because, because the, the uh, alternative told you no because, uh, because the alternative the, the one you're giving me you the alternative that you're giving me is so fantastic and so impossible no, to pull really off not. When that you do it, the research, it's not to be considered no I've done sir, the research when you look at history look, dude what his, happened to the people on the planes like they were calling physics, their families what, what it makes physics, a lot more sense what is that people calling their families saying that there was a terrorist had taken over the plane with I mean like how do you explain that I mean that's a very basic question I'm asking which is something the government could have avoided completely by just going through the garage but when people are calling their families and they're saying is we're the on this plane involved? it's been taken over what how do you explain that Isn't there a .008 chance of a success rate of a call at that altitude didn't they do the research on that you can't make calls at that altitude. They were coming and down. They, they, they weren't at 30,000 feet. They were very feet, low, my they friend. They were at 30,000 feet. They were 15 minutes very into the flight. Very low. And, and when, they were, when they were coming down, especially for the second flight, they weren't, they weren't 30,000 feet in the air when that Tops happened. Tops of the buildings. You're acting like they were flying over Mount Everest. They weren't. You can't and this, make that them. statistic that you're, you're asking, okay, that's a, that's a clever thing. that you, you want to talk about parroting something. Why are you not calling her out for parroting .008 chance of a statistic? When I'm asking a very basic question, which is, what do you, people, I've seen family members interviewed that said, my husband called or my son called. What is your explanation that these people who had their son or their husband or their wife calling from the plane? You're throwing out a statistic. What is your explanation for, or for how that Or a recorded happened? message on, on a, a home you, telephone. You which, don't think there's any chance whatsoever that those might have been faked? Any chance whatsoever? Faked phone calls from family. You're talking X-Files now, though. We're talking you about... Know? 
I mean, I'm, I'm trying to look at you. That's uh, a little intricate. You wonder why people don't take you seriously. The phone calls were all fake. So instead of going through the garages and fucking with a few video cameras, the government faked phone calls, and yet they couldn't make Colin Powell look good. Uh, but by getting that shit, ah, we saw a trailer with uranium in it, and it wasn't. <laughs> and the whole theory fell apart, and the U.S. government had to change why they were in Iraq and look like assholes. So they couldn't figure that out, and yet, but they could fake phone calls and, and plant bombs in the Trade Center with no one seeing. You're giving the Keystone cops a tremendous amount of credit. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, look we're, just, we're, we're not saying that, I mean, we're not trying to make accusations here. We're just saying there are questions that, needs, that are being asked that are not being answered, and they need to be answered. Fair enough, and she's doing that right now. I'm asking a question I would like answered. Do you honestly, as an intelligent person, believe that the government was brilliant enough to pull off faking phone calls with loved ones in answering mis machine All message form? All I'm trying to say is it would be a lot easier and a lot more convenient for me to take the assumption that I have faith in my countrymen. No, 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 no. I'm not are, asking there that. There are a lot of discrepancies. All I'm asking for is a new investigation. Well, what I'm asking you is, that's, that's again, talk about parroting. You were, there's a good word to use, parroting, because that's also parroting. You're doing exactly what he's accused everybody else of doing. You're parroting. Now, I'm asking you, forget the rhetoric. Do you really think, as a, as a rational person, that they faked relationships and phone calls and that the family members bought it like your father or somebody could be faked he happens to be flying that day and the government's going to call you as the plane is going I mean, does that I'm make any sense? I'm not taking one stand or another I'm just not going to mindlessly absorb what I'm told but you just you're not did in my the fact that you're saying that it could have been faked you're absorbing like yeah, somebody's I'm, idea of, of something that's preposterous and I'm saying as a, as a thinking person does that make sense to you? Like, does I, I, no one likes the official version. We don't like to think that we really lost three thousand yeah. people. Got caught our pants down. We yeah. completely. No that one likes to think sucks. that. That version sucks. Believe it's, me, that version stinks. I would love a different version. Unfortunately, I really believe that's kind of the version. So I'm asking you, like, and you're saying, well, those phone calls. Instead of saying, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That would be a very difficult thing to pull off. You yeah, go with. I can't say that it does make sense because it doesn't make sense to me. So faked phone calls to relatives. I don't know what the answer is, but it doesn't make sense. Well, don't, don't you know what the answer isn't? That it's kind of hard to pull off fake phone yeah, calls. You, you can can't just gloss throw over that. that one out the window well, I mean, as being look, not feasible. Or, or look, I mean, I'm not saying that the planes were faked on the plane. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it's not. But I'm not saying it's impossible not to fake phone calls. We obviously do have the technology to do such a thing. I mean, but I'm. Do we? Look, Where do you get that just, information? But dude, wouldn't it just be easier to block the signal? Like, for instance, if we have the technology, which we maybe do, to fake these voices and, re and interpersonal relationships yeah. to convince wives and husbands that they've one. spoken to their loved one in a dying moment, don't we have the technology just to block the signal so you don't have to worry about that? I mean, why would they? I mean, again, if we're discussing this, why would they take 40 steps when they could take one or possibly two? Yeah. Look, all I'm saying is they're trying to make a big event. <laughs> but, dude, I'm, 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 stick with me. I'm, I'm going with what you're saying. Okay. But just try to work with me. And this, this, you're telling me I'm not thinking things out. I am trying to think things out. And there are certain things that, as a thinking person, don't make sense to me. Why wouldn't they just block cell and all plane signals with that technology? Why, if, 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 if going by that, if they possibly had that technology... Why not just block the signal and save yourself a tremendous amount of explaining and possible error? Thank God they didn't block the signal because well, then people couldn't call uh, Ticketmaster and get their tickets for New Year's Eve. Jimmy Norton at the North well, Fork we Theater. All know that probably sold out already. But you, but wow. you understand what I'm saying? Like, why why put all of those well, things maybe, in chance? Well, maybe maybe they, maybe to uh, really convince the fact that it was Islamic terrorist. Maybe to uh, I mean to bring that to bring that point home. If, I mean, if they, if you get rid of the speculation, okay, well, you know, they called, and it's obviously Islamic terrorists. And you don't think the Islamic terrorists would be so extreme and so hateful that they would do something like this, uh, sir? Uh, there is pro there is Islamic Islamic extremists. There is terrorists that hate this country. But yeah. the thing is. I want to believe the official story, but there's so many things just wrong with it. They just don't. But the add up. but your version, there's even more there's, wrong yeah, there's with no it. There's no such thing as my version. There's a lot of things. That or whatever. Don't the, add up, let's dude. say the opposition to to the official story. It's yeah. it's it's so out there and and it, it complicated and imp impossible to pull off uh, that it, it 
to stick to that story is is silly. But alternative it's, research, oh, oh, you're I, being I, given. I, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, be, alternative research. Okay. Alternative research. Everything you guys are saying, we're trying to somehow rationally like her thing with the phone call, or or or. Okay, let's walk through that a little bit. And all you guys are doing, go, well, we don't know. It, it's almost like you throw out a theory. And then when somebody like slowly says, okay, well, let's talk about that, when it, it's kind of proved to be ridiculous, you go, oh, all right, well, we're not saying that that's the case. We just don't know what well, the case I, is. I don't think you have proved it to be, to be ridiculous. And You I, didn't think you know, my example, hold on, you didn't think my example thing about here. the phone thing was pretty good? See, this is what the problem with you guys is. You never can see the point. You don't think the point I made to her about calling your relatives and faking a voice and an interpersonal relationship is a lot more complicated okay. than blocking a signal? You don't think that's kind of a good point? Come on, come on. Are you really going to tell me that? Is it, you're supposed to be a thinking Look, man? Here's what's going on. You guys are getting real nitpicky about little details and trying to call us out on this and that. When there's a bigger picture here, and maybe there's maybe there's something we can agree on, there's been a serious lack of uh, mm. media well, dude, nitpicky, integrity. Nitpicky? I'm, I'm talking about your media points. There's been a serious integrity oh. surrounding 9-11. You see what I'm can saying? This is what I meant about the, the child. I'll no. say that there's Anthony. a serious lack of media integrity. Period. period. Okay, period. Just period. Okay, and especially concerning 9-11. I uh, mean, they went on the next day touting the, the government's yeah, official story. There was a lot there was, of... There was uh, no real investigation. There was a lot of reports that came out prematurely. I watched that day just like everyone else did. They were talking about how more planes were in the air, how this is going here, uh, uh, other buildings were blowing up. That uh, They all turned out to be false because the media likes to jump the gun well, to get the scoop. on top of the White House. To get the scoop were, on everything. There were white planes on top of the White House. Well, you know something? Never been mentioned. But what? They're, they're, you, see, you can see that there's a clip on YouTube about it that was reported on CNN a little while ago, and they have a video of the a white plane that w they say it was a B-52 bomber, but, you know, one of those doomsday planes that was on top of the White House, and there's no mention of that in the 9-11 official story either. And I, I don't even know what to think about that. I, really I, I don't know what to think about that either. That just blows I, my mind. Who that's knows? A white plane on was top it, of was the it, White was House. Was it a plane that was at altitude that was uh, getting ready to be brought in? No, it was, I don't know. it was really low. It was just right on top of the White House. Well, Look, you can see that clip on YouTube, 9-11 white plane. I don't think I, I obviously I don't think we're privy to every security measure that yeah. the uh, government brought out after that happened. And no, so perhaps it was some type of uh, uh, defense that they put up. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. All either. I'm, saying, I'm is, saying is there should be another investigation because there's so many just unanswered questions. There's so many things that are just are there. So but strange. he accused us of being nitpicky, and this like it, we, you're looking at well, it's a bigger picture. No, not with every issue you're talking about. A bigger picture, a higher morality is not what we're discussing. We're talking about specific things, and I'm listening to what you guys are saying, and you're saying I'm being nitpicky. That was a very valid question. You're yeah. accusing the government of mimicking uh, voices convincingly enough to convince relatives that they've spoken to a loved one in a moment of death. Okay. And I'm saying, wouldn't it be easier to do this? And you're saying, I'm being nitpicky and that you've somehow investigated further. It seems to me like you don't like to concede a point or you don't like to be shown that possibly the way you're arguing is not accurate. You don't seem to like that. You seem to, you're so desperate to hold on I, to this I, I, thing. I think, I think the big point here is that we need a new investigation. You guys could use your celebrity to, to call for a new investigation oh. and, and to do some serious research no. into this subject. I've already talked and, to you. You've and, convinced and you me of nothing. Are, you guys are cowards. I'm sorry. Oh, don't you're, be so silly. Well, you're being a little boy. You're cowards. You're being a little boy. Because you don't want to look into this Did mommy seriously. and daddy not listen call to you enough, for, son? You're afraid for your jobs if, if you start oh, talking about 9-11. Oh, little, little boy. Dude, boy. we're That's afraid for our truth. jobs, but it ain't 9-11. <laughs> Believe That's me. That's not the truth. <laughs> now, and I think you you know that. that I, I'm looking... You really think you that we're afraid? That I am the one, you silly little boy who doesn't know, who screamed, let's get 9-11 people on here. Why are you here? a boy? Because I'm you're being a little boy. Old. You called me a coward. I'll call you a little boy. Shh, take it, little bearded angry man. I get it. You're angry man. I get it. The you're government's bad. I know I'm a piece of shit. I know. Shh. Oh, oh, is he angry? No, no, be angry, angry, son. Come here, son. Be angry, little boy. Whoa. Oh, the angry young man over. walked away. Oh. Do you see? Do you see? Afraid for our jobs. I am the one that said, when we brought 9-11 people on at first, there was something about the Pentagon video I didn't like. I, I started talking about it on XM and said, let's get people and talk about it. Right. So th that, that's just uninformed. And he's walking away, and I hope you have this on film, because he was getting his be ass handed to him in an argument. No one is screaming him on. down. He's used to yeah. yelling and Sam's shouting. Terrible and having being dragged out of things and having people go, ah, and no one's going to yell at him. No. I'm going to go every point he has right. and, and talk I about I mean, it. look, all 9-11 all truthers are trying to do... state your name for the record. Uh, my name is Luis Baez. 
All right. Um, yep. Yeah. I've been curious. Um, actually, actually, I have been listening to the sh- uh, to the Opie Anthony show since uh, junior high school. So, oh, uh, but do you, Luis, do you yeah. not see the horse shit of the angry young man walking away? I mean, come on, man. I, 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 like the, the you're a it, coward. Well, like, like, like he's this bastion of freedom and bravery. No one's afraid of the government coming down on us for talking about 9/11. The government isn't going to cancel our show for talking about 9/11. What is he talking Believe about? Me. That's that childlike yeah, right. thing that I'm talking I mean, about. They're, they're yeah, just don't mention Condi. <laughs> and if we were cowards, we would have just not acknowledged yeah, you guys. Why would we have walk it? We stopped. Kenny fucking, you know, Kenny put his got arm in between out you and us, and we I said, no, no, let's Kenny, no, let him talk. You know what this is all about. I love the dialogue because and. And I'm not to not to put you down or anything, but I love having just an intelligent dialogue between people that have your point of view and the what you call official government stance on it, because you really give yourselves enough rope to hang yourselves with. We don't have to do much for your story to come off looking silly and and looking uh, uh, ridiculous when you just talk. All you guys have to do is talk, and it doesn't sound good. Silly. Yeah. So I don't think I've said. Maybe you didn't. Well, maybe you didn't I mean, say anything silly. But no. you don't think him walking away dramatically, you cowards? Doesn't that come off as kind of phony, dude? Like we're here talking to the guy. We we're giving him a microphone to talk into. It's, do you not see a horse shit in that? You know, I I don't want to speak for that guy. No, no, I'm talking about you as a man. Don't you see the horse shit? Yeah. Well, if Anthony walked away angrily and called you guys, but he didn't. He's standing here and we're no, putting you talk. on the radio. That's, that is true, but you know, the, I think we, what we got to get back to is the main point. Is right. Even if you don't agree. agree, that all right. Are we going to agree to disagree? Some, we can say we, say we agree to disagree. <laughs> I think the thing is, we should really have another investigation and look at some of the things that still don't make sense or are still kind of crazy, and take well, a look I mean, at them again. Spend some yeah. more money on this because we only spent how three, many? Three million. Three million. We spent more money on Clinton getting a blowjob in the West Wing. That we was important. On, on oh, okay, that, that doesn't make sense because a lot of people died. A lot of people are still sick, and we. I, I personally don't believe that we know the real cause of what happened. Please tell me where he's going. <laughs> where is the angry young man going? <laughs> where is the angry young man going? I don't know. Is he gonna uh, pump his fist somewhere? Bah, hey. Bah. Do you agree with that though? That we should have another investigation no, I, no. i'll tell you why i'll but tell you i do i i mean look it's, i don't think we need investigation if you want to go into security lapses and, and stuff like that investigation as to how it happened absolutely sure how, they, they've done a lot of that like the fbi and the cia weren't talking to each Better other communication it's a tremendous problem in the u.s okay, my, government my question is if okay we go with your officials or we, uh, what you believe yes there was a humongous failure within our defense tremendous yes tremendous why hasn't anyone been fired? Um, Why hasn't? Well, how come? How come the people that are in charge of our security have not been reprimanded or anything? I don't know about but that. But have gotten yeah, bigger, I, I, bigger budget. I would I assume don't they. Know about that. I would assume they have been. I mean, that, uh, that, that that's a that's another. I don't question. know. I don't know I mean, names or people that have these jobs. But I know a lot more money has gone to uh, these I mean, security they, agencies, and thank God it has. I mean, I mean we, I'm going to use the term that you guys used uh, when when you guys got fired. You guys screwed up, meaning you guys got better positions when you guys got fired. Right. These people, when they messed up, they screwed up. They got more money. I think that they've been pretty raked over the coals by the public, and I, I think it's a colossal embarrassment that, yeah. that True, our, but our they defenses still got were that weak. They well, got the agencies positions. got more money. Good. Donald Rumsfeld would have gotten more money Rumsfeld. as well. Rumsfeld's out. He, he's out. Because I mean, people he's still, thought he was he's a making more asshole. money than he was before. He mishandled the war. I mean, he did, he did not do a great job, and he's out. Oh. What are you talking about? He, he yeah. hasn't done a great job. He's done. If he's and making he's more money, it's well, in the I'm private sector. I'm not saying sector. he's done a great job, but he's gotten rewarded for not doing a great job. It's in the private sector uh, now. People want to see him. He's a celebrity. You so what, what are you going to do? About the guy not acknowledging points. Like I asked, uh, Again, a point about Colin Powell embarrassing himself. In, in the United Nations about the, the African uranium. And that was a tremendous blunder that was very easily pointed out to be horseshit. And the whole right. and the United States looked ridiculous. I mean and I asked him about that realistically, like why all this brilliant planning and stuff 
and then that. What's that easier to idiocy. do? Plant explosives in the World Trade Center or plant weapons of mass destruction in Iraq Why wouldn't and we turn have done them up that? and go, aha, look what we found. We I think it's easier I mean, let's, let's, let's not if we got this that, great though. intelligent government that could pull the wool over everyone's eyes. Well, let's not forget that Ronald Reagan did so, Saddam yes. Hussein. Absolutely. Of course, because we, we were at war we were through them with Iran. And by the way, we sold the Shah of Iran I mean, about 80 warplanes before the Ayatollah Khomeini yeah. took over. So when the Ayatollah took over, they had 80 I mean, of our warplanes. Thank God they weapons. couldn't operate them. We love selling weapons Believe this me, we've given weapons to some fucking dumb people. <laughs> we're idiots. Believe we like me. to sell weapons. We've had to shoot down our own shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's what ridiculous. <laughs> look, look, I'd love to continue this and stuff. We are and, uh, we're freezing well, and we got to get back to the well, studio. We would but, like to thank you for giving us the time. Uh, yes. No problem. Uh, thank right. Angry Young Man for and, us. And, yeah, I, I and, got a question. What was George uh, Steinbrenner thinking when he brought Roger Clemens back to the Yankees? Uh, that's a good question. Answer? What do you think, sir? Uh. uh Got no answer That's not what that, I'm here for, guys. I'm sorry. You got a Yankee, wearing a Yankees answer? hat. I had to ask. Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. Check out the book Omissions and Distortions and Synthetic Terror by Webster Tarpley. Info It'll be Wars. great. Infowars.com. We are change.org. Check us out. Well, and, uh, and as prison, I said, I, yeah, I would tell people to go there because when you go to these sites, you do kind of see well, look, uh, that it's... Well, you always fact check. Uh, you always fact check. The, and the, it, the facts yeah. change as uh, the situation and of evidence course. changes. I mean, what, what, Read the book, though. Synthetic there yeah. in 11. Like I said, you, you guys him? usually you give yourself the, enough rope. Do you see that he's sulking over there? And what happened <laughs> so was he walked loving. away and nobody cared that he he's walked sulking. away. And he's sulking. What is he doing? What Jimmy, type of a guy Jimmy, arguing Jimmy, with that? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. It ain't about sulking. him, Jimmy. No, 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 I know that. But he's kind of like, but that's Jimmy, me kind Jimmy, of that's not what we hear, Jimmy. No, no, I know, but, but I'm saying that that's Jimmy. kind of what's wrong with a lot of the guys that argue that point. It's that, you know, man. I'm cold. And, Why isn't there a government conspiracy that makes it warm in December? Oh, global warming. Or November, or whatever know, the oh, fuck got it is. Sign. All right. All right, well. All right, guys, thank well, you. Man, stay warm. Uh, 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 thanks, guys. Jeez. Thank you, sir. Oh, my no. God. All right. so, I can't believe I forgot the walkover. Hell of a day for a walkover. Uh, Take a break. Let's no, no, no. We'll, we'll keep walking we a little see, bit. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Do you want to talk to the angry young man? Or are you done with him? Already. All right. He's he's so angry. Take care, man. Thanks for fighting the good fight, brave boy. Thank you. Thank you for not buying into what the rest of the dummies do. You know what, Anthony? Oh, he's walking away with a sign. Please film him walking away with a sign. I'm on the air, sir. Wait, this guy's so mad. Oh, he is so angry. No, this guy's so mad right here to your right. Which one? Not, not you just us. heard the whole thing? Eyewitness. I just uh, drove here from downtown because of these fucking morons. I saw the whole thing happen. Yeah. Walking right next door. Oh, this is bullshit. Jimmy, you got him so oh, He is so angry. The little boy is wait, walking wait, wait, wait. away. Little Let's talk bearded to this guy. boy. When you called him little bearded boy. <laughs> don't call me a coward. You just bucket. We're putting you on the radio. I you know. Silly he little called you a Let's coward. talk to this guy. He got so pissed he came from downtown. Well, what happened was... The planes flew. I was working right there. I was outside drinking a cup of coffee. Saw the whole thing happen. You saw the workers come out that just planted the Everybody. explosives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dummies. Planes in the building. I'm watching the people trying to run from the fire, jumping out of the buildings. I wanted to talk to these guys, though. Yeah. Well, you know what? The, the one guy just walked away. It was fun to watch him sulk away. Oh, dude. You know why? You got him. I knew that. And Whenever I knew that. you get one of these guys, they fucking fold. Like the other two guys, at least, were st still trying to make their point, but they weren't being And they total... were distancing themselves from the guy. Of course hey, they were. Hey, we don't know about that it's guy. Like, get away from me with that fucking angry little boy shit, man. Ugh. That's that rebellion against mommy and daddy I'm talking about. Yep. It's not about the point of view. It's he, about that fucking he, that he, anger. And then when you point out, well, what about this? Well, you know, man, you just, you're a coward. You're Shut nitpicking. Your mouth, it's a bigger picture. Well, the bigger picture is all the detail. Yeah. So you bring up detail one by one, and they never have a fucking answer of for him. Of course they don't. And he walks away with his sign. He's like, hey, brave warrior, we'll put you on the radio. <laughs> brave warrior. Hey, 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 reads everything. You got a radio opportunity in two countries. Little bearded man. Little bearded boy. Don't little try to, bearded boy was great. Not the only one who cares, little we should, boy. We should talk oh, about who the real cowards are. Those guys would never bring that shit to the uh, NYPD wow. or anybody that's yeah, you know, yeah. lost a loved one Go that down day. to the fucking firehouse. Or, well, uh, or that guy. That guy is livid wanted to confront yeah. him personally he came in his uh yeah. his van just to confront those guys because he saw the whole fucking thing go down he saw the actual planes hit the buildings 
And, you know, to him. you want to talk about cowards. Why don't they take their cause downtown and talk to some of the eyewitnesses? Holy shit, it's Eastside Dave. You know, how you doing, Dave? We, we got to go inside. Yeah. Right, we got to go inside. Oh, we I must be late. walk over. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm such a coward. I was scared. Oh. I think we're going to have to agree to disagree on I that one. I think that's uh, yeah. true. That guy's so brave. Oh, you... Oh, <laughs> you beat got it. him so oh, angry, please. Jimmy. Give me hours I spent at the cellar arguing. Beat it. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you a story walking, stupid. <laughs> With that, we'll see you guys upstairs. Right, you know what I'm pissed off about, speaking of Jim Norton and what just went on on the streets of New York, uh, pretty exciting stuff. Uh, when they start saying, you got to read this book, you got to read this, I'm like, well, you got to read Happy Endings. It, it, it explains uh, it all. Yes. <laughs> it explains it all. Have you read Happy Endings? Right. There were two <laughs> Just throw that into the mix. There was two guys, like there was three guys there and, and the girl. And yeah. Like, I, the girl just, cause she was young and she was just trying to mean something. Videotaping something, yeah, something for the with cause. With this really angry look on her face. For the cause, man. We, we should fill in the visuals now. There was a yeah. little girl there the whole time. She couldn't have been more than five foot, five foot one. She held the camera right at Anthony at first before Jimmy uh, came back on the scene. And she had this really angry look just on her face. Mad. Yeah. Just mad. Just really so mad. Angry. But it's almost like you guys are, you're arguing with the wrong people. See, we're not people that wear suits to work every day. You know, we're not three fucking corporate guys. It's like, what are you doing? You Stop acting like you're brave, motherfucker. You're not. Yeah, we were, we're brave. We're arguing with you. We put you on the... You guys yeah, actually at that moment put we it on were, the radio. We were brave to let them have their voice yeah, heard, man. It's, it's just one of those things where, you know, they came... I heard a commotion behind us. So I'm walking, and I'm thinking, what the fuck is this going on? And I look, and it's like, oh, it's the 9-11 guys. And then Kenny stepped in... And I was like, no, let, let, let him come. Come on. I want to hear him talk because, like I said before, the best thing you can do is let these people talk because they will just hang themselves, uh, especially if you can sit and, and discuss with them. The, the worst thing to really do is just sit there and call them douchebags and assholes right. and, and that because they, they love that. They love being yelled at with nothing uh, factual being thrown at him because then they could go, yeah, let's see, he's too afraid to talk or this, that, or the other thing. But when you confront them and discuss uh, the, the whole situation, they fall apart. Well, he said, this is what the beauty of this, the guy with the beard, who I just loved because he was everything oh, was, that I knew he so was. Mad. I could look at him for 30 seconds and know what he was. Sized him up. And it was funny because the girl raises a point, which has been raised by them before about voice masking. And I ask a very valid question about faking an interpersonal relationship with a loved one and convincing them. And I've seen these people interviewed. And you know what? I believe them. I believe the mother and father I heard interviewed who said they were talking to their son of as that building hit. That, that plane hit that second building. And they said that the, their, their son was like, like going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I believe those parents. So for yep. me to believe those parents, that means that the voice has to be masked. The relationship has to be faked. And so I say, all right, well, if they could do that, why not just block the fucking signal so you don't have to worry about that? Yeah. You're nitpicking. I'm taking what you just said and going a step further with it, and I'm allowing you time to talk about it. That's why when I got a nasty email or whatever, which is fine, from one of the 9-11 guys after I was calling them children. That's why. It's not that you don't agree with me. It's that you have this childlike way of arguing. It was like... I'm asking you fucking valid questions that I've asked yep. myself. Where, why are you not asking that question? You think we don't do research? Hey, motherfucker, why not just put two big trucks in the fucking in the basement and knock both buildings down into downtown New York? Yeah. You would have killed 50,000 people. Yeah, and do why it when yelling? everyone's in there. I shouldn't be yelling. Do uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it when the buildings are full. Yeah. And don't give anyone time to get out. And if you're going to bring down planes, you want to talk about a spectacle, bring them down with missiles. Why not, if you have all this brilliant technology and you can voice mask and you can hide bodies <laughs> why not just missile down a few planes and why yeah. do you missile down planes with 30 people on them why not fucking get right. a few loaded 767s fully loaded planes it, it's it they didn't want fully loaded planes because they didn't want to fight on their hands right, listen it, it, it's too easy an explanation to not be a valid explanation. Sure, sometimes they, if you want to put a conspiracy together, you want it to look like it was easy. This would involve thousands of people that need to keep their mouths shut, and the government can't keep a leak fucking plugged uh, when it comes to to anything. Scooter Libby couldn't shut up. Right. Yeah, she couldn't keep her fucking... Oh, yeah, listen, listen, I know. gotta jump in here, because the <laughs> listeners are dying to get in on this. Okay. They, they just heard this for the last, oh, I don't know, over an hour, and they're dying to talk. Uh, John in Houston, what's up? 
Yeah, hey guys, I just wanted to, uh, God, just, I'm so proud of how you handle those 911. We're on XM now, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, those 911. I hate those. <laughs> and then okay, his and phone cut out when he cursed. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's a conspiracy, <laughs> man. No. Man, they didn't want to hear that, me that say That proves it. the merger's going through. We're cowards, man. <laughs> man. We're afraid for our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Really, when you blow it down, they just want to feel special. They want to feel like they're the only yep. sentient, free-thinking people in a sea of zombies who yeah. are all either in on it or duped. They want to feel like they're in the Matrix or the X-Files. They, yeah, they want to feel like the Matrix, the X-Files. They want to be those three guys on the X-Files. Yeah, yeah they want to be the, the underground rebellion, man. Yeah, like, we know. Be? Look, dude, we know. Let's. We'll get together in my basement. Ma! Ma, we're doing things down here. It's a conspiracy. The one guy was definitely listening to to you guys. Yes. And, and he had an open mind about things. And, Luis. And, 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 no, not the the tall guy. He's like, you oh, know, okay. I just don't feel comfortable with what they have told me. Could you see him in the house going, this is a conspiracy? What? I know absolutely. And look at this picture. Where, uh, right. What do you say, guys? Sunny D? Sunny D. <laughs> Everyone yeah, upstairs yeah. for some Sunny D. But the mom! All, all he was saying was, I don't feel comfortable. The other guy had an agenda. The, the little girl with the camera had the agenda. The Yankee hat guy. All those guys weren't willing to listen to anything. No, I, I disagree with you about the Yankee hat guy. I think he was listening, even though he wasn't... I'm not saying he came over to our side. I don't think he did. No, no, but no. He wasn't, no. I don't think he was so irrational, but I, I don't think that none of it sunk in either. I don't think with the question of why not block that technology instead of voice faking... Yeah. I don't think that that right. missed him. Do you know how that. hard it would be? You know, they like thinking of this a massive technological conspiracy. Look on a personal level. Do you know how hard it would be for for somebody in in some government agency in, in the deep in the Pentagon or underground somewhere coming up? With Jim Norton masking technology to then call his mother and father, leave a message that not only would sound exactly like him, <laughs> but, but like personally, you right. just would know it's your son or daughter or loved one or husband or whatever. You just know it. No one's going to fake it. They're not going to put fucking, you know, they're holding Frank Caliendo in the Pentagon. Uh, and and he's, he's there blurting out people's Wait, voices. So John Madden had to make a lot of phone <laughs> yeah, calls? Yeah. <laughs> We're on a plane here. Yeah. Hey, We're going to go boom. It's going it, to. It's not happening like right, that. Let's get, we got to get some of these people in. We got Chuck from uh, New York City. Chuck, he's a cop. What's up, buddy? Hey, guys. How you doing? I just wanted to thank Jimmy for putting that 9-11 in his place. Oh, sure. I got to deal with these people all the time, and it's I can't personally say anything to them on the street. I'll lose my job, get in trouble. Right. But he did a fantastic job. I'd well, love to see him go to a precinct or a firehouse with that drivel. Well, so he got angry and walked away. He stormed away. It was almost like he called us uninformed, and he called me a coward, and then I call yeah. him a little boy, and then he tries to rile himself up with, you call me a boy? Yeah, little yeah. bearded yeah. boy. Now what? Don't try to intimidate me, mother. You're not frightening me. Well, that's because me. he also looked over. He's like, "Fuck you." Fuck. Oh, uh, what's the matter? Aww. You lost. Oh, we little boy didn't like. What's the matter? Little temper tantrum. Don't try to Fuck intimidate you. me. He's got some childhood issues, you know. Of his parents of course stuff, he does. In a corner or something. Right. He's a spoiled fucking white yeah. kid. Yep. All right. Who Thank these guys Chuck. at the door? In the. Oh, oh. Keith, uh, <laughs> it's conspiracy. See, the government came in and shot us. <laughs> Keith and Louis. Oh no! Now they're driving a car in. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Keith? <laughs> We're afraid for these hey, our I, jobs. By far the best walkover ever, and I, I remember having to dodge these guys back in undergrad, uh, all over the Waco thing in the early '90s, and they used to scream at us about Waco, and we had to dodge them on the way to class. Oh. But you know, the one thing, Jimmy, is. And I don't believe that they were able to pull off faking all these calls. But you know, the one thing I wanted them to say was, if they if they were able to fake them, it was it would have been the perfect thing to do because it is what sold all of us on the fact that it really, really did happen. I'll be because honest, dude. I'm not, not, I mean, I'm gonna let you finish, but that's not what sold me. To be very honest, what what sold me was watching the planes hit. Yeah. I, I mean, I, and I'm not trying to be a shithead about it, but I mean, honest to God. That is what sold me. That sold me, watching the buildings burn for a while, watching them yeah. collapse. The entire scene is what sold me. That, the, and the, the knowing that Muslim extremists 
uh, uh, hated our way of life, hate our way of life, um, were planning things, had done things in the past, numerous things overseas and uh, domestically, and to our, our warships, uh, the coal had been bombed, embassy bombings, uh, the World Trade Center back in the 90s, and then... This is just, it's a, it's a natural, unfortunately, a natural progression of what was happening a, at the time. So why can't they down. accept it? Why can't they just accept, hey, this is what happened? And, the, and if they were going to hit the Pentagon and fake it, wouldn't they have done more damage? I mean, it's it just, it, none of it would make sense. No. To, to, to fake like hey, this. I, just, I wanted to take up for the, the other two dudes. Uh, the, the, maybe the little angry guy was carrying all the pot and they didn't want to get cut off <laughs> they, you know called him out on the radio so angry yeah, it, it's, it, but it's like that anger it's like don't come at me with that stupid you're no angrier than me self-important no, yeah stop it you're not smarter he's you're not solving angrier. the problem no he's so much smarter and yeah. he knows you don't you're a sheep yeah we're all sheep and puppets and listening to the media uh, uh, we're gatekeepers. Yeah. We're the gatekeepers, we man. On. We they made up them. a cool name for people <laughs> yeah. that just fucking listen to the news. We're the gatekeepers. Dude, we call out the media more than anybody. And, and we're and the gate course. openers. We're you the, know, they, we're they, the first ones to uh, call the media out on their bullshit. Little Stop. Boy, go yell at mommy with that gatekeeper shit. Yeah. I'm not a suburban housewife, you idiot. Go to fucking Toys R Us and get a Sherlock Holmes detective kit and put the hat on with the magnifying glass and look for clues, <laughs> like, you little brat. Don't try those little argument techniques when I'm willing to listen to your point and then go, well, what about this? And instead of going, like, any rational person, when, when you say, wouldn't it make more sense, we go, yeah, that would actually make a lot more sense. But what they say is, A, you're nitpicking, yeah. B, you're parroting, when that's all they do is parrot. And yep. Danny raised a funny point. He's like, they fucking say how you can't rely on the media for anything until something happens that, that sides with them. And they go, well, you look, it was reported in the it media. It was reported right. in the media oh, that okay. this happened. What, the media you just said sucked and that you can't trust? You can't trust them. Right. Just plant a few weapons in Iraq, we would have looked good. See, that was a whole other thing, too. Us now. It's like we, we go to Iraq... And by the way, uh, using 9-11 as a way to get into Iraq is ridiculous because at any time they had broken enough sanctions that we could have gone in. Yeah. We always had we had planes flying over on a daily basis. There were there were planes flying over the no fly zone. Uh, they, they were breaking sanctions. We could have bombed them at any time we wanted. Uh we didn't need to do that. And if, if they were able to plant explosives in the World Trade Center, both buildings, while people are working to bring it down in a controlled explosion, you mean to tell me you can't get weapons of mass destruction into Iraq to say, aha, see? Or a couple. They didn't come up with any. We look like assholes. Idiots. And in Afghanistan, we fucking boot the Taliban, and now they're coming back. Yeah. We have done... A horrible job. Terrible. So what was the fucking use? Because right. we're not Oil good at that roof? stuff. We're just good at conspiracies. It's just, I don't get it. <laughs> and, yeah, oil's a hundred dollars a barrel. <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> we did. What do we want to do? Well, we're good at mimicking. Uh, our no, plan no, no, is working no. perfectly. We're really good at mimicking voices, though. Yes, yes that seems that, to be that what really came out of this. Hey, imitation. I can't believe it sounded like the real victim. <laughs> let's, let's go to Idaho. Uh, James, they're calling from all over the country right now. James, what's up? Hey, James. And we're not, yeah, by the way, hold on, hold on, I, I, I want to make this perfectly clear, because we get called out on this all the time. I'm just going right up the row. I mean, if someone agrees with those guys, they'll get through, trust yes, me. Yeah. I'm, not, through. I'm not trying to fucking just take, pos, you know, pro O&A and Jim Norton calls right now, or mostly uh, Jimmy and Ann. I, I, I just yelled at the guy, and then he, that, that one guy ran off in fear, by the way. We didn't, we didn't. Uh, oh, was that the bearded guy? No, d before you came back, one guy is like trying to say that, you know, whatever. Yeah, it was another guy. And I just, I just got right in his face and he just took off. He didn't want any part of that. He was the guy that bearded guy was talking to on the corner. Oh, man. Oh, he came back, the other guy? He was standing on the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, another angry one that ran away? Yeah. Well, they get really angry and run. <laughs> That's what they what? do. No one's beating you up, silly. <laughs> well, I got a little pissed because he's like, you guys are uninformed and you're not smart. Aww, I was saying, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, tasering. In traffic. Oh, in traffic. All right, go ahead, James. Idaho, what's up? Um, a couple things I thought was hilarious is one was when uh, Opie was just like, don't mess with me, dude. I'm serious. You don't want to mess with me. And would just get so pissed off. And another thing was uh, <clears throat> when one of the pink liquors, I don't remember which one, was uh, saying, <clears throat> excuse me, was saying uh, how funny it was that you guys take the littlest things and try and prove that it's, 
uh, the, it was real. The littlest nitpicky things, when every point they had was a little nitpicky. Yeah, yeah. That you couldn't even believe. Little, little minor like, details. And then when you argue them, they go, oh, well, those are nitpicking details. Yeah, it's talking yeah, about the big I picture. Laugh my ass off. It, it's so. amazing oh, how they, 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 they need a certain type of relationship. Here's what they thrive on. Very quick interactions, yep. like quick one or two sentences yelled at each other where they can hold up a sign and be the angry young man. Blow out some stat that yeah. isn't back. Uh, they can't back up. They need a quick thing. They need to anger people to the point where they become irrational and they could stand there and go, look, now you're irrational. Uh, but when you give them a forum and actually debate them back and forth, they come off looking like. Idiots. Well, it's like when that little girl, like he called us parrots, and then she said, "Well, isn't there only point oh oh eight? Sh sh what? what? A point oh oh eight chance of getting a call yeah, where, through? Yeah, where, where, you, where, where did you hear that? Yeah, where did you read that? Right. Some of the carriers I've had over the years, there's a point oh oh eight uh, <laughs> chance of a signal in my house. Right. <laughs> Never mind on a plane. Hey, let's go to uh, Rick in New Orleans. Uh, Rick Nylons. Hey, Nylons. Check it in. How doing this hey, Rick. All right, Rick. Look, I normally, you guys, I love you to death, but your politics normally drives me crazy. I'm screaming at the radio all the time. But I got to admit, y'all were more than fair to these guys today. I don't believe their conspiracy stuff, even though I disagree with your politics. But y'all were more than fair to them. You didn't ridicule them today. You gave them more than enough fair chance, and, and they I, destroyed themselves. And I only, to be honest with you, I only started really insulting that that guy because right. of his attitude. The other two guys, I didn't agree with, but I wasn't insulting them. No. But I, the, the, the white dude with the beard, who you guys couldn't, you could see like the, the, the when I was talking about one mm -hmm. thing, I could see that he had no answer for it, but wouldn't say like, I don't know what that is. Um, then he goes into this other rhetoric, and he was the guy I had a real problem with because he's everything I'm talking about when I say spoiled children. Not the other two guys, Luis and the other guy. I don't know if the guy who was an Indian dude or whatever. Could I, be not, a little misguided, but uh, I don't agree with those dudes. <laughs> yeah, but I think that their motives are a little bit cleaner. I think that that guy is trying to portray the angry young man and be a leader of some sort. Yeah, he, he wants it, to be a leader. It makes him feel like he's got a mission. Yeah, he's leading a uh, the, the, uh, pack of people uh, that are way in the minority that that are, think that there was this vast conspiracy and he's going to be the guy that exposes it somehow. Right. It's like his dream of being this this uh, a superhero. And he's the guy that's going to crack this open. Yeah, and it's like when you argue, like, Kennedy conspiracy I've gone back and forth with, because I've read a lot from both sides, and I've even said, that I know it sounds crazy, but I'm actually leaning away from a conspiracy in the Kennedy assassination. Yeah. Um, I'm not 100% convinced either way. But it's like, when you talk about conspiracy theorists, you really have to know your shit to argue with a conspiracy theorist, because a lot of those guys have very rational explanations for everything that happened, like to prove a conspiracy. And yeah. when you hear people that know all the facts and argue with a conspiracy theorist, then the conspiracy theorist looks stupid. It's almost like you really have to know shit to argue either way. Yeah. They both sound rational. I can mm -hmm. see why you'd feel either way. But on this one, after arguing with no. these guys, I can't see why you right, feel right. that way. Fox Dolder. <laughs> uh, hey, Rick, thank you. I thought it was thank very you. funny. Oh, <laughs> it was Fox Dolder. Hey. Thanks, man. <laughs> let's, let's go to Mike the, the Trucker. That's joke. Yeah, Mike. That guy was a... Dolt. Oh. Mikey. Yes, I, would, I, I would like to say that two girls, one cup was an inside job. And if you guys would just open your eyes and read the book, The Brown Stain of Shame by Stephen Lockmacopoulos. That's right. You would see too. What's, what's, the, what's the special about it called? Loose stools? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm with Mike, though. I think there's an old switcheroo going on in that uh, video. Oh, now, see, uh, come on. I'm sorry. The, Oh, study, Opie, study. what's the matter? You can't accept the fact that that's a real cup of shit and girls are eating it? <laughs> study the consistency of the shit after it went into the cup and they do a cutaway. Look, it, it looks the more commission like ice came cream. out and said that's real shit in it that cup. It looks more like ice cream to me at this Listen point. To me. She's throwing up into the other girl's <laughs> mouth. Well, what, yeah. do you, what do you think? They drew the line? Like, I'll, I'll puke into her mouth and she'll eat it, but the duty thing has to go. <laughs> well, yeah. The contract. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why would they fake the voices? Why not just shit into the mouth. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. You guys are being glib, man. man.
that if that guy was oh, should, the, the um, typical man, like when I do that, <laughs> that is him. The beard, man, and the the wounded shot, like the angry yeah. wounded look. It's believe like, the, the government, man. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'm not your fucking fifty eight year old lady neighbor. But I love to see him try to explain himself out of a beheading, <laughs> sitting there in front of that fuck god awful I, flag. Can I jump in here for a sec? Because uh, someone's pointed this out, and it's absolutely true. I got I got out the easy way, and I, I'll explain. But let me read the email. Norton and Ann are arguing logically, and Opie does. Don't mess with me, asshole. And that was the only point that got through to them. They didn't talk to O for the rest of the time. Brilliant, Opie. Well done. I'll tell you why. I Like Jimmy said, to argue with conspiracy guys, you have to know your shit. I don't know my shit when it comes to this stuff. Oh, I meant for JFK, not for these guys. These guys, you, don't, you, you know enough to argue with them. I meant but, JFK. But I, I just couldn't <clears throat> be bothered. I just love letting them hang themselves. It's great. I, I can't be bothered mm. with that stuff because I just know nothing ever gets accomplished. It's so mm. fucking... Fr I get so frustrated that I can't be like Jimmy where he goes, uh, you know, and just try calms everybody down and listens to him. I'm just not that guy. I don't have that personality. I get frustrated and I don't want to deal with it because I know they're never going to see it any other way. The good thing is, though, especially on a forum like, like our show... Instead of just, if you're in a bar arguing like that, it really becomes frustrating. But I like the fact that on this farm, on our show, you get to expose people like that so that maybe somebody who's teetering and, and is on the fence isn't just going to buy into that shit um, automatically. Do your own research and shit, you know, absolutely. But just don't take the, their word for it like that. It's it's ridiculous. It was funny when he said, well, you got microphones, and he said it into a microphone. Mm. It's like, we're not asking you to talk through a construction cone <laughs> on 57th Street, you <laughs> fucking cunt. Did You're we ever pull the mic, mic away? No! Did we ever pull the mic away from any of their faces? Oh, it was right. just here, silly. I'm going to bop them on the head with it. What a but, goose. <laughs> here's a guy, Mike on Long Island. Here's Go ahead. a guy. Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> hey, man. I've been listening to you for a damn long time, 1027, back in, like, 80, uh, 99, 2000. Later longer. Nice. The important part here is I'm a jet mechanic. I was in the Air Force for four years, and I'm telling you there is absolutely no way the Pentagon happened the way it happened. There's no way a fuselage can blow through a wall that's so solid that it's going to make engines totally disappear. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question, though, about this? And I'm not a mechanic, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I did see a video, it was a military test video, an older one, where they show up, because the people have raised this argument about how it wouldn't demolish if it hit concrete, yeah. and this was not a passenger plane, this <clears> was like a, a military fighter. It was a, a F-4 Phantom. Oh, oh, you know the, the video. Yeah. And, and, and they showed it flying into a, a, a solid brick type of thing, and it did disintegrate. It was... Well, you, here's the thing, the whole thing would disintegrate. Yep. The fuselage is hollow. There's no way a hollow fuselage would penetrate a wall... <laughs> That's going to totally evaporate turbines. Turbines are made of titanium. They're almost impossible to melt down. They found engine parts, dude. They didn't Where find, is, they didn't find yes. the engine parts from those planes. They, yes, did they did. That? They found you know engine parts. all those engine parts were? Dude, they found engine parts. They found they turbine blades. from commercial jetliners. Yes, they did. They were not. Holy shit. Video. You see, they were small. You can pick them up with your hands. Dude, there are pictures of emergency workers and firemen walking around debris that is obviously airplane parts. There is a picture of a wheel hub. But here's and they, hold on, hold on. There's a picture of a wheel hub at this uh, Pentagon site. And they matched it exactly to a 757's wheel hub. Right. They put a picture of that wheel hub next to the picture of a 757's wheel hub, and it matched perfectly. Well, that's great, but how how would a fuselage bust through a wall that an engine can't? Tell it, me, what, what do you mean? No, the you engine know, did. Bu the engines did bust through the walls. Where are you getting your info from? There, was, there, was, there, there was it is. One. There's the wreckage of the wheel hub found at the Pentagon. I'm looking at a picture. Uh, the top row shows it. That is a picture of the wheel hub. The bottom is a 757's landing gear. Look at the rim. Look at the hub. It's exactly the same. It was a 757. I'm not, what do you think happened then, dude? Like, yeah, what, what Anthony, do you think happened? Anthony said something that you kind of blew off. Like, they did find that, and you go, okay, well. No, what do you honestly, think? I, I, never saw, I never saw any credible footage. And there were uh, uh, parts of the fuselage that showed uh, a side panel, windows, 
Um, it didn't disintegrate. The, the clip that me and Jimmy were talking about with the uh, the phantom flying into a cement wall, right. that's concrete that's uh, supposed to be a security check for a nuclear reactor. Oh, is that what? Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, it was thick fucking concrete, not brick wall of a Pentagon. Right. Uh, and, and it was doing, like, supersonic speed into this wall and completely disintegrated into dust. Right. Uh, that isn't what happened at the Pentagon. It went through a brick wall. It went through windows. What um, went through a brick wall? If all the engine parts were on the outside of the building. No, it wasn't. It was in the rings. The, the Pentagon's made up of rings. Right. And it was within the rings they found parts of the air pl- of the uh, uh, the jet. Why was the hole so small? The hole is only big enough for the fuselage to go through. The wings and the engines did not make it through. No, you see marks on the building where the wings went through. The plane didn't hit direct either. It didn't hit at a 90 degree angle. It hit at an angle so it doesn't look like this cartoon version of a plane going through a wall where it's a perfect silhouette of a plane. It hit on an angle. Right. So that's why you're not getting this um, uh, wingspan uh, uh, d- definite line on the building. It, but the fuselage parts were there. It hit at a high speed, and it hit a brick fucking wall. So, yeah, a lot of it disintegrated. But there were enough parts there to identify it as a 757. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, it, it's... They, they have they have three different video cameras that they... The FBI... Uh, you saw that, right? Well, I'll tell you, I don't like the Pentagon. Yeah, I saw that. I, they only show that they one... the video, then why would they release uh, one shot from around the... It's horrible <laughs> video. It's yeah. so slow from a surveillance camera that you really only get one frame where you see a blurry object. It's very hard to, to see what that is. If you ask me, I think it's odd that the Pentagon doesn't have fucking cameras everywhere I guarantee you that would have caught that. I guarantee you they do. They do. And they, they and, haven't released it. But you got to think... Why would have released them? I, I, no, I don't necessarily agree with that, dude. Because they, the government, does, and I'm not saying it's right, but why they conceal certain things, whether it's for their own security, they don't want to show you where their cameras are, or they don't want to absolutely show you how fucking weak the defense was around that. Building, Maybe. I honestly don't know, but to me, that's a flaw in the thinking of the government. That doesn't mean it didn't happen. What do you think it was that hit the Pentagon? A missile. A missile. Well, what? He, he now, now let me ask. Let me ask you something. Let's just let's just de- okay. deconstruct this for a minute. Why would they use uh, two aircraft on the World Trade Center and then hit the Pentagon with a missile? Because everybody's going to see the uh, the World Trade Center. Everybody's in New York. But uh, wh- why take the chance? There's there's rush hour traffic going through D.C. at that hour. A uh, highway. Uh, next to the Pentagon, why take the chance that people are going to see a missile and not use an airplane? Where is the airplane that supposedly uh, crashed into the Pentagon? Where are the people that died in in the crash of the Pentagon? Where is all that? Well, that's the question. That's no, it's not. It's, it's not a question. They're dead. As they're Jeff they're Kennedy, dead. Their families me. have not seen them since. Yeah, and honestly, I don't put it past them. They're, if they were willing to sacrifice the lives of the two planes that went into the the uh, the World Trade Center, I don't put it past them to, to sacrifice the to, people that were on Now, the how are they sacrificed? The, you mean to tell me that the FAA and all the air traffic controllers uh, saw a plane that went off the radar and then, what, flew very low to a, a, a point where it, it went somewhere? Where did that plane go? That's the question. Dude, it, no, it's not a question. No, it, it, it flew is. into it, the it, Pentagon. If you're a jet mechanic, when, when, dude, when, you're, uh, holy jeez. When, when the planes went into the World Trade Center, they had to land like 50,000 planes that were in the air, whatever it was. Maybe right. it was like 4,000, 5,000, whatever. It's a lot of planes. And, and they, they kept track of every single one of them except the one that supposed to fly into the Pentagon. <laughs> where did it go? Well... According to uh, stupid mm-hmm. loose change, it landed uh, in Ohio. This is what I'm trying to get you to say. Way. It landed in Ohio, and then what happened to the people? Yeah, they filed them off, and I guess they executed them all. I the, it, now, <laughs> now, now, sir, is plan, that not the I, silliest thing? I, dude. Did, I didn't spend four years figuring this plan out. No, no, dude, but listen to this. Listen to this. If they're, they're working go in through a sweatshop in Cleveland, <laughs> if you're making get, Nike sneakers, if you're gonna, I just feel bad that they had to go to Cleveland. Right. If you're gonna get I'm people, teasing Cleveland. if you're gonna get people no, to be silent <laughs> about executing other American citizens, getting off a commercial airliner, why not just say it was a missile <laughs> and set up an Arab? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, like, why deny that it was a missile? Like, why not just say and there was a missile attack and then make it look like. 
Like, like, paint a complete picture that Al Qaeda did it. Like, if you're gonna fake that, why? Well, because they're not that. They're not that advanced. They have box cutters. They Dude. don't have missile tech. I mean, technology and the ability. Who has to, box cutters? To, Who has box cutters? The terrorists on the planes Wait. had box cutters. They didn't have missiles. Wait, how did? No, no. How? The, but we're not talking about the terrorists. We're talking about the government. There are no terrorists on the thing. Remember, there's no, a you, you said Well, that's that right. There aren't any terrorists. Arrows, I forgot that. Like chain. they shot the missile. Right. So I'm saying, well, of course they have technology. Bin Laden's a billionaire, dude. He came in that that I broke. How would he have a cruise missile in Washington? Exactly. Well, well, then how would they land plane and convince people to kill American citizens <laughs> without talking? <laughs> and dude, now no one's talking. They couldn't what? keep Abu Ghraib a secret. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a couple of nude dude, fucking Lindy savages England, on a leash. Lindy England piles people in a pyramid and has a few laughs. And Come on. The whole fucking thing falls military? apart. Has a few laughs. Guys points with that thumb. Military guys do fucked up shit like that. No. They, yes, they oh do, my sir. God. But you're right. But in the age but of... You got, you got Halliburton... And you got uh, KBR, and you got all these, these uh, the but, outside forces, the mercenaries that they're hiring. To, yes. That, that, there's just as many of them as us in Iraq. But, bro, 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 hold on. That doesn't count for landing a commercial airliner in Ohio in the U.S., and nobody's seeing it. You're, you're implying that air traffic control or that the Ohio airport that it landed at well, didn't see it. And then yeah. nobody worked in the hangar. Never saw the plane. And where did they back the Excuse plane out me, into? But there's, there's oh. an explanation on the instant feedback. Oh, the okay. people uh, in Cleveland and the plane, they all went through a wood chipper. <laughs> it, right here in Brainerd. Right in Brainerd. Right here in Brainerd. We could take care of it right here in, in Cleveland. But dude, do you see how ridiculous Get it is? Give me a like, wood chipper. Break well, it down I, logically. Me, I, I understand there are a lot of questions, but when I see the picture of the Pentagon being penetrated by a, by a plane that... Uh, like I said, the engine parts that I saw were not the turbines from commercial... You saw what you wanted to say. They, they look like from a helicopter. Is it possible? We saw what, what... We saw what they... They've matched them up with... It, it's easy to look at a picture. It's, yeah, so it's simple. Children could who do this. Anyone could match it up just no, by no, looking at it. You're saying that somebody matched them up. Who did? The government. But dude, no, why? no, they there are photographs. That, pictures fit? Oh my God, everything has to be fixed. You're going into eight billion things that had to have been done in complete silence and security no, for all this to happen. Make, oh, so the picture I'm looking at right now of the rim that's in the wreckage is faked. Instead of a, an easy answer, a 757 flew into the Pentagon. Well, it's not an easy answer. It is an easy answer. People that hated us figured well, out a great fucking plan and fucked us in our ass. Yeah, and, Wait. and he denied it as soon as we asked him. If what? he wanted us, if he wanted to do it, and he what? wanted us to know he did Who it. Who denied it? Who did we? Have? What did we call up a cave? Yeah, Bin Laden. We didn't call Bin Laden. We were trying to get Bin Laden handed over to us. The Taliban said no, so we attacked them. And let well, me ask you a question. What interview dude, they have with him after nine eleven? Who interviewed? Him? Who fucking cares what he says? Oh, okay. Dude, honest to God. You know, where is well, the plan, though? Here's the thing. When they finally came out with the Bin Laden video that he said, hey. yeah, I did it, it didn't even look you, like him. You it was can't rule out the Bermuda Triangle. Let me ask and you a question. Let's be honest with that. Too. If you All say right. that they look like helicopter parts, yeah. the government is claiming a plane hit the Pentagon, so they, to make it look real... Sprinkle helicopter, helicopter parts, parts and hope that nobody notices. After this vast conspiracy of landing <laughs> people and executing them, they go, ah, we got a box of helicopter parts. Yeah, Let's just attack. sprinkle them around. We forgot to bring parts. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, do, but do you understand why we think this? No, God. I, 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 I got it. I understand why the whole country and the whole world is duped. Nobody wants to believe this. It's hard to believe. It's impossible. Believe me. I don't want to fucking believe this. I fought for my country. I was in the first Iraq war. I don't want to believe this. But believe me, if you go to AE, American, I mean, the architectural engineers, AE911truth.com, oh, they will spell out of course from they an will. architectural point of view how there's absolutely no way these buildings came down. And Anthony, as far as putting all those explosions, uh, explosives in yeah. these buildings, yeah. if you see what the actual structure is, the, the the backbone of the twin towers is the elevator so, shaft. The elevator shaft is all you need to blow up. Oh, That's stop it! You mean to tell me the World Trade Center rested on its <laughs> elevator shaft? I I've, I've been in construction for many years, oh, well, dude. I might not have been at a level of the World Trade Center, but I know damn well that they don't bear the brunt of the weight of a building the size of the Trade Center on its elevator shaft. Well, maybe you should look into it. There's it was something called a center core right. that ran up and. 
outside of the And the outside of the building itself no, 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 was no, no, all... No, no, hold on, hold on. Dude, dude, listen to me. The, the middle part was a structure made of steel. The outside was also structural. That's why the windows had to be so small. And between that were uh, metal beams that ran and held the floors. They all got soft and fucking bent and collapsed, and the floors falling on each other made the buildings fall. If anyone tries to convince me that explosives were placed in there to bring it down in a controlled blast, I've seen enough controlled explosions and what it takes to do that. It's impossible yeah, to rig that like building. Down? What? Did you see what they look like when they go down? Because they look just like the Twin Towers. No, it doesn't. It does not. L watch a fucking controlled explosion. Watch the Twin Towers. You will see and hear pop, 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 pop. You'll see the light, and then you'll see the building collapse in a clean, controlled right. explosion. Did you hear the popping? No. You heard a heavy fucking rumble of concrete turning to dust, and you saw some sparks from flammable objects, friction, and whatnot. Not fucking a controlled explosion. And how do you, again, how do you get that shit in there when uh, people well, are working? The CIA had their headquarters in the buildings. It's oh, their, my it's one God, the they have CIA. Dude, the CIA guys wear suits. What, what do you Holy think that they... Shit. Do you oh, think, my God. Dude, do you think... Honestly, right, did you know that they... Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you, do you really think a bunch of CIA guys... We're running around while people are on their typewriters wiring 110-story buildings to are fall down. Insane? What do you think the CIA does? Why not just go through? What, what do you think they do? Obviously not pay attention to Muslims that are in this country yeah. training on airplanes. And I'll tell you what else they don't do. They don't have good cover stories for Colin Powell. They no. They have shitty cover stories I'll, that make them look like a douche. I'll tell you what else they don't do. They don't plant weapons of mass destruction well. <laughs> so no. They look like dickheads Mike. in front of the whole planet. <laughs> Mike, what do, you say to the, what do you say to the NYPD? and the, the fire department here in New York and all the volunteers that were actually collecting uh, airplane parts uh, down there at Ground Zero. No, I'm not saying airplanes didn't go into the, the trade centers. That obviously happened. We all saw it. Well, there's a lot of people that don't think even that happened. No, so. well, that's crazy. Uh, well, <laughs> well, well thank you. Was... There are people that, that do think e e that's even crap, so... No, that's not what I'm saying. That's just insanity. All right, it, dude, it, dude, it, can actually, we just... It, look, I, I videoed agree to disagree. the whole day. No, I got even a better so, uh, solution. Yeah? Today. I think we all need to take a breath. Uh-huh. And if he doesn't have this ready, he is fired. I think we all need a Lopewiser. Wow! Uh, Let's all, rock. Can we all go, agree go, go, on a Lopewiser? Mike, dude. can you agree on a Lopewiser? What's a Lopewiser? Oh, Jimmy, you've missed so much. Jimmy. Being a star out it's there It's a Lopewiser. It's a Lopewiser. Just enjoy it. You got low wises for everybody? Oh, look at he's freaking out. Come on. And it's oh, not ever e prepared. Oh, e rock. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. wait. You did. I think do I heard what I told you. So then I, look, now I got to apologize to e rock. Where is it? No, you don't. Yes, I do. Because he, yeah. his feelings were hurt. Hey, e rock. There you go. Low wisers. That's one. Oh, oh. Jimmy? Tastes so good. I didn't say that there's alcohol in them, so I, I think you could have one. No, there should be cum in them. <laughs> what is a Lopewiser? Uh, well, the radio show that replaced us in West Palm Beach, Florida. Oh, my God. They, I have an they, Ant Stell Light. Wait, they does, give people Lopewisers. Does Loper, does, do, if, pe if you tell me that people call the Loper show and say, I want a Lopewiser, I'm going to no. kill everyone in this room and then myself. People don't call. He just offers them up. <laughs> really good sound effects, though. Yeah. Yep. Was it a shotgun? And then fucking a Pez? What is that? You fucking <laughs> and then fizzing cunt. A lopewiser. It's a All shot right. of cum with blood in it. I just have to say this, sir. Oosh. 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 All right. All right. Let's All right. wrap this All up. Right. All right, Mikey, thank you. Enough. I think we gave you some good time. All right. Thank you. All right. All thank you, Mike. Thank you. All right. And he's gone. Uh, let's go to Doug in Austin, Texas. Uh, Doug. Yeah. How you guys doing? Hello, All Doug. right. Um, I uh, I worked two years next to the Pentagon. That stuff is not fake. The the buildings reconstructed. You can see the new construction. These people are losing their mind. I just want to know if they could come in for the dumb off with Rich Voss. Yeah, well, would be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> they got to be I, 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 I'm stunned that people cannot just accept what happened. We, we I would love to think that this country, and we all would have loved to have thought this country had the security that we always thought it did. 
where the the and grounds would, the grounds of the Pentagon opened and these super missiles shot out and would save everybody. It didn't work. We 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 were we had our pants down. That the CIA and the FBI uh, talked to each other and w- could have weeded out uh, terrorists that were taking flying lessons in our own country. Well, all I can say too is, uh, you know, it's a pissing contest between government agencies. They're not going to talk that way. I work for the government. Well, they it's they I, they do a lot better now. They've uncovered some some nasty shit. Uh, it, it's amazing, and they say it all the time. You know, the the uh, what what are the, they say? Uh, the terrorists only have to be right once. You know, it's like they, they we we have to find every single terrorist plot. I, I got but it. one only has to slip through, and it's a huge uh, uh, event. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to keep uh, some of the funny in here. Brian has a great one from South Put Jersey. Down, All right, as uh, a- angry typing uh, guy, because I've seen a guy in Discovery say it was so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the gravity argument. How do you make things fall faster than gravity? Fall faster. Unless you're putting, like, rockets on the debris as it's falling. <laughs> as it's falling. I, when people come at me with that one, well, it fell faster than gravity. I'm like, oh, boy, I got I to gotta, I gotta go to, to the gym and yeah. just work yeah. out or something. I can't be bothered with this. How does that how, – seriously. That's where they, they assume that? that all the floors are detonated at once. Mm-hmm. And instead of uh, the floors um, hitting each other and pancaking like they did, wham. Wham, 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 wham. Right. That can only fall at a certain <laughs> speed. But but the whole thing fell uh, uh, like it was free falling. You know how funny it would be to, like, say you have some 9-11 conspiracy videos and you start, like, a minute of it and then you just show the guy getting fucked by the horse in Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> That, to me, is more believable than a big horse cock went to the Pentagon. <laughs> it was a big horse cock. Oh. The first video on that You're site screaming. he mentioned, I thought, oh, man, I'm way off. <laughs> I really thought I was going for normal. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Dan. Go ahead. Uh, 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 <laughs> you douche. By the way, because the government has this voice technology, Dan, uh, yeah. you do realize that you did not talk to Mother recently. Holy shit. That was, oh. a, that was a, a conspiracy. She oh, was no. awfully pleasant. Of wow, ep- <laughs> see? Of epic proportions. Um, the first clip they have to disprove everything yeah. is Dan Rather saying that uh, number seven looked like... Uh, he's like, we've seen this before when they've demolished buildings. So if expert Dan Rather was Dan confused, Rather. And the fact of the matter is, to the layman... It, it would look like a building being demolished because they didn't tip over. It didn't fall over. It fell uh, straight down. In its own footprint. Yeah, in its own footprint, as they say. So if uh, somebody in the news is describing it as that, you don't take it literally that what de- they're saying is that it was a controlled explosion. It looks like something we're familiar seeing, which is a con- controlled explosion. But they just eat that shit up and go, yeah, see? Dan Rather said it. That app. He also spent 20 minutes on his coat. Uh, his coat <laughs> he lapels. has co- yeah. collar and lapels. <laughs> Trying to make sure he looks good before Dummies. he goes on TV. Dan Rather is a bucket of jizz who's <laughs> now suing for $70 million. He should shut his face. Yeah. What's the frequency, Kenneth? Mm. Hey, Mike, North Carolina. See? Mike? I don't know what's going on in North Carolina, but they love this stupid show. Hey, you gotta love it. Hey, listen, guys. I was in the Marines for six years, did two tours. You know, I saw these terrorists. Hurrah! Hurrah. Hurrah. But listen up. My biggest point is if these idiots honestly believe that the government and our country purposely killed all these people, and especially that moron who said they emptied a plane load of people off and executed them, yep. why in God's name would you stay in this country? <laughs> yeah, who's who's staying here if they have to carry out execution <laughs> right. of innocent Americans? Of some guy with a fucking TWA bag. Yeah. <laughs> He's just standing there with his carry-on. Do we, do we take the carry-ons or do we leave our laptops while we're being mass executed? <laughs> yeah, I would have to... Why do these people what? want to stay in our country? You know what? Yeah. I mean, hey, if, if they think our government did it, you know what? I'm sure Iran is looking for some more uh, citizens. You guys feel free to go move over there. I'm sure you'll love it. Thank you for flying, United Airlines. Thank you for flying. Come again, please. Thank you for flying. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you for flying. Watch your step, miss. 
Thank you for flying. Thank you. Thank you for flying. Bye-bye. 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 Are they just going to shoot everybody? How are the flight attendants? They have that long tape conversation with where she's going, yes, our number one has been stabbed, our number two is dead. How is she talking yeah. about the pilot? Is Act that a voice thing? Acting lessons. It's just silly. Acting lessons. Shooting lessons. By the way. Uh, I want to do with these guys, these conspiracy theories. I want to sit them on my lap and go, what's the matter, little fella? Yeah. What do you need? What is it? A hug. As we were uh, talking about that, by the way, the MSNBC had an interesting story. Uh, some guy's not allowed to, to have his Get Osama uh, license plate on his car. Yep. Motor Why? vehicle told him, no. He's not allowed to they do don't Get because Osama. You are not allowed to have what they deem offensive uh, words on your license plate, your personalized license plate. And they uh, saw that as being offensive. Get Osama. What? And then How we, is that offensive? And then we got the British teacher in Sudan. We never got to this. This day. I love. I I wish they were going to be caning this woman, um, but unfortunately, I think they're just going to put her in prison for naming a teddy bear, having her class name a teddy bear, and that uh, she they decided on Muhammad. Right. And well, uh, people in the Sudan calling and Than raised a good point. Like, what do you say? Like, you, you think that they can't behave irrationally? And there's thousands of Sudanese calling for her death, calling for her death, <laughs> waving machetes around. Yet it couldn't have been that mentality that brought down the towers and the Pentagon. It was our own country. Well, let's get the news story out there so everyone knows what we're talking about. It's quick. Fifty-four-year-old Jillian Gibbons was found guilty of inciting religious hatred and sentenced to 15 days in prison for naming her classroom's teddy bear Muhammad. The lawyer for the British woman arrested in Sudan says his client never meant to insult the Islamic faith. Gibbons' lawyer describes her emotional state after receiving the guilty verdict. She feel calm and she, I think she expecting that because we told her that and uh, she's expecting that because there is many, many people are shouting out in the street and so and so. So it's, I think it's even serious for us. Her lawyer plans to appeal the guilty verdict. God, that, that appeal will go well, I'm sure. Oh, she'll, yeah, get, yeah. she'll get 10 years. Yeah. They'll, fucking, they'll, they'll, they'll give her a clitoral circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiots. Hey, here's a... That is... I, I, am, I am glad because when, when these do-gooders go into these savage uh, countries and try to deal with these people as if they are human fucking beings, it, I, I, I cherish... When they get fucked over by their own do goodness and think that they're going to be treated rationally by these fucking savages. She probably goes there thinking, I'm going to do good. I'm going to teach the children. This is going to be great. And she's some dumb, fat English broad. Uh, so she goes there and they have a little naming of the teddy bear. The, the class decides on Muhammad. Someone rats her out. And uh, they were talking about giving her 50 lashes. And when it made the news, people got outraged, and I guess uh, they sentenced her to 15 days in uh, prison, which over there has just got to be a treat. Uh, and I say, good. This, uh, this should be a message to everyone to not even try to fucking deal with these people on a rational level. They are just not, they're not in this century. They live in a whole nother century where it's okay to just crack women across the face with sticks, uh, 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 chop people's heads off and hands. Or like that Saudi case of the woman who was assaulted. The woman who was raped. There's a woman who was raped in uh, Saudi Arabia, and uh, they sentenced her to prison because they saw, they saw her as... In, they, she entasked them. <laughs> they saw her as... Uh, enticing them. They're a lovely culture. Yeah, a lovely fucking culture, They're isn't it? They're a lovely group. Hey, let's go to <laughs> Keith in D.C. Keith. Hey, guys, how's it going? Welcome right, aboard. Keith. Hey, I just wanted to say, I'm tired of all these people calling in. My wife works for DIA at the Pentagon, and she was in the parking lot when they all saw the plane coming, them and a whole bunch of other people sitting on, I think it was like 295 or whatever road goes past there, all just watching the plane. I don't know, you know... I don't know how you can do. Uh, you you do realize it's a missile. You do realize your wife was brainwashed, right, yeah. by the government. Um, I don't think it's so. not your wife, dude. It, yeah, they built a replacement robot well, and put her voice chip in there. Stepford wives. Let's remember Stepford yeah. wives. It's, it's not really done. your wife. 
And we're not all big, you know, go gung ho government people, but good God, this is not a setup. Your I mean, wife's a fembot, baby. <laughs> a fembot. <laughs> I saw it on A lot of people calling saying, hey, I saw the plane hit the Pentagon. What? All right, what uh, uh, The Osama thing, did we do it? We got the audio. Yes. Yeah. We did it, all right? We did it. All right. I have to go home. <laughs> oh. Tired. Wow. You, but you, we spent a lot of time out there with those. Douchebags. <laughs> yeah, show's over, actually. Yeah, man. Damn. Um, I have to make a phone call. And we want to make you sure we get... a call. We want to make sure we... Call. Huh? Oh. I have a comment. You hold. sure it's going to be the people you're calling? And not uh, mm -hmm. voice technology switching well, fucking think, shit? Let's hope that they voice technology and say yes. That's all I can say. <laughs>